One of the more interesting things about abstract classes is the word abstract. Anytime you think of an abstract class, think about the definition of the word abstract. What does it mean? It means to basically pull something away from it, to abstract the details away. In software, when you use abstract classes, especially in Kotlin, it means you can kind of use this as an abstraction of source. So let's assume that we've created these four different cars. All of them all inherit from a base abstract class called vehicle. So we have vehicle, we have a two-door car, which extends vehicle. We have a Lambo, which extends a two-door car. We have an Acura, which takes is a two-door car. A town car and a hatchback. And each one of these have a drive method. So the hatchback says driving a hatchback. The drive for town car says so smooth. The, dr the drive method for Acura says zoom, zoom. And the drive method for Lambo says driving fast. Notice these say drive fast. Now, why don't I implement the drive? Because that's implemented in its super class up here. And anytime someone calls drive, we just call the drive fast method because we're just going to assume two-door cars just drive fast for whatever reason. Okay, so we have all of our cars here. Now, if we wanted to call drive on each one of these, what we could do is we could say Lambo dot drive. We could call Acura dot drive. Now, this is great and all, uh, or we could even say drive fast if we know we wanted to just drive fast. However, there are a lot of instances in power when we know that we want to rely on the abstraction. So we'll say drive vehicles. This current method called drive vehicle, which just tells the vehicle to drive vehicle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take in a vehicle. And inside of here, what we're going to do is say vehicle.drive. Now, this vehicle is an abstraction. We're not creating an instance of it. We're just saying, hey, this method is going to take an instance of a vehicle. We don't care what kind it is. We just want a vehicle and we're going to tell it to drive. So what we can do here is then you could say Lambo, you could say drive vehicle, Lambo, I pass an instance, so I'm going to just duplicate this a few times, and I'll say Acura, and then I'm going to say Hatchback and Town Car. Now when I run this, what's going to happen is Drive Vehicle is going to call in, so we're going to say Lambo. We're going to get an instance of a Lambo. It's going to call this Drive Method, which is going to say, all right, who's implementing this Drive Method? Well, a two-door car is implementing the Drive Method because, well, who's implementing, okay, it's going to call Drive because Lambo is a two-door car. And I say, oh, well, I'm gonna implement drive fast, which is this method. Well, who's implementing drive fast? And they say what well, Acura and Lambo are. So that case is gonna go here and call driving fast. So if we were to run this, what we're gonna see really easily is we're gonna see each one of these methods, uh, method invocations, are gonna dive down and call the appropriate method. So for a Lambo, it's driving fast. For an Acura, it's zoom, zoom. For a hatchback, I'll say driving a hatchback. And for a town car, it's so smooth. And so an abstract class, think again, think of the word abstract. It allows you to abstract the details behind some type of almost like a contract. So this is the contract of what all the vehicles are going to have. They're going to have color. They have number of wheels. They have number of doors. They have a drive and a stop, which is different for each vehicle. And then it's those child classes implement, can either divide, decide to override and implement things or if it's an abstract class, it can leave it as is and let the implementers downline implement it themselves, such as town cars doing here, well, it needs to implement drive. So again, you could have an addition, you could again, abs you could extend two-door car to be a slow two-door car, and instead of it being drive fast, you could override that to make it drive slow. So, and then, Again, up in your main file here, you could still just use this method to call drive and that class would then react accordingly. And you can start performing all different types of operations with different types of vehicles, but have them have the same type of type signatures. And that's how you can use abstract classes as abstractions on a very simple manner.